We're going to talk about Mr. Stefan Delano Harris, homeboy from Albany, New York. Albany, New York, capital. Country town, too. I've been there. <laughs> Um, he grew up like most black kids do, uh, you know, um, not much in the way of money, but a lot of love, a lot of support. He's getting by, he's doing things. They're moving uh, frequently, uh, probably renting. Um, and uh, at some point, uh, they moved into a home in which someone had left a musical instrument, a piano. I guess they just didn't have the money to move it, they didn't care to, but they just left it there. And this little kid moves in with his family and goes, hmm, what's that thing? So he started experimenting, at first on his own, and then with a few lessons here and there, and uh, he was on his way to becoming a classical pianist. Hmm, yes, that's what he wanted to do. And of course, that journey took him to the Eastman School of Music. They have a very, very fine program, and uh, this probably would have been somewhere around 93 or so, so he definitely would have been uh, kicking at that time. as. Uh, uh, Stefan was born in uh, 1973, uh, I believe. So yeah, somewhere around 92, 91, 93. He would have been there. And um, he ended up uh, going to Eastman and doing pretty well there. Uh, graduating, of course. Um, and discovering the vibraphone, which is like a piano laid flat, okay, with no black and white keys. Just the black ones up there and the white ones here. and you play it percussively, and he liked that. And so he took what he learned from the piano and applied it to the vibes, and pretty soon, he's a bad vibes player. And he started listening to some bebop and hard bop. So his musical affiliation is shifting as well. He's moving away from the classical into the jazz. So what's his next move? Well, Rochester, New York, is the home of the Eastman School of Music. Uh -huh. So he decided to go next for his advanced degrees to the Manhattan School of Music. Hmm, that's New York City. What's in New York City? Jazz, baby. Oh, yeah. So halfway through college, a lot of the older jazz journeymen started noticing this young kid who's showing up at jam sessions and they're like, ooh, that boy bad. That's, that's, that's booking for a gig. That's booking for a recording. Let's book him. Let's book him. Let's book him. Like Mike Roach, the great Mike Roach, the legendary Mike Roach is like, yeah, boy, come on. Joe Henderson is like, come on, man. You got to come do this thing with me. And Steve Ture, very egotistical trombone player, he's like, yeah, I can use you. So all of a sudden, he is in demand, not just on gigs, but as a session player, session player, that means he is making records, which means he is getting his name in print, which means people are starting to go, who's this cat, Stefan Harris? His stock is rising, 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 rising. Soon he's like, hmm, he's educated. He's American, he understands capitalism. As the song says, God bless the child who's got his own. So soon, he had his own recordings. And his second one, a black action figure it's called, won him a Grammy nomination. So he has also started to produce his own work at a very, very high level. And since he was first associated with the legendary German in this music, the young musicians he associated with had to be some bad cats and Jason Moran and people like that. So this whole thing is starting to boil over. It's starting to get hot. It's starting to happen. Oh yeah. He continues to record. 
did some work with 21 Piece Orchestra um, that was recognized by uh, the Lincoln Center with an award. Oh yes, absolutely. He, he is at that level. So he's not just doing recordings and doing small combo things and serving as a leader on recordings and as a side man or other. He's also starting to write orchestrations. He did a uh, special on Duke Ellington that um, once again was uh, highlighted by Lincoln Center. Um, he's getting a whole lot of positive press, a whole lot of recognition and a whole lot of awards. At the same time, he is interested in playing it forward, being a bridge builder, helping other young musicians at the Manhattan School of Music. So eventually he becomes the director of instruction in music and later he becomes the dean of the department at Manhattan School of Music. So he's got this educational career going at the very highest level, and he's got this recording career going at the very highest level, and he's touring and performing at the very highest level all over the world, and he is juggling it all at the same time. He continues to make unbelievable recordings. He continues to associate with the best and the brightest in the industry and he continues his explorations into not just hard bop but fusion electric jazz and other improvisational forms one of his most recent uh, well uh, received albums high acclaimed albums it's called 90 Miles. It's a tribute to Miles Davis. And uh, he uses the great David Sanchez, or Puerto Rican uh, saxophonist, who I just love, David Sanchez. Uh, it looks like David Sanchez, David Sanchez, okay? And um, Christian Scott uh, on uh, trumpet, who we'll be talking about uh, pretty soon. And uh, they are going where Miles might have gone uh, if he lived uh, to this period in time. So Stefan Harris is still a very young man born in 1973. Um, he still has um, a lot to offer us and he is still balancing three careers at the same time and is achieving at the various high level in all three of those uh, endeavors and we can only hope that we will be the recipient of more and more and more that Stefan Harris has to say to us not just through his music, but through his words and his deeds and those students that are encountering him at the Manhattan School of Music are truly blessed with one of the most forward-thinking young jazz musicians on the planet. And remember, it almost didn't happen. He just happened to be a poor kid just meandering through life at a young age and moves into an apartment where someone just happened to leave a piano. Just happened to leave a piano. And look at how that turned out. One man's junk is another man's treasure. And Stephon Harris is richly blessing us. Thank you very much.